I was wondering if it would have enough signal just to bounce straight back to the planet. When we get Lisa like that? Who's Lisa? Who's Lisa? Laser, interferometer star, space antenna for measuring gravity waves. Oh, I see. Okay. Did not know that. I'm not as into um, satellites and what's actually up there as like the boosters and the the stuff that go up and send things in space. So I don't actually know what's actually up there as much as I should. Um, yeah, it's, it, it 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 is a little bit in a little bit weird actually. It's more about the way that we get things up there that I'm, I'm interested in. And moderately knowledgeable about. Say moderately knowledgeable because... I don't know everything. Alright, we'll do 35. And time warp again! coming in. I want to come in a little bit earlier, so let's I come in a little bit earlier. And I don't want to spend as much time in the atmosphere. make the same mistake as what I did last time. There we go. That should be good. I still think we're going to be landing in the desert on ground. I just wanted to be aware. I was just aware of that. Um, Maybe what we should have done there is I should have aimed radial out and ended a aim for this peninsula here. Or we could have extended it so that we ended up over here. Or we could have aimed for the desert complex. I didn't I didn't really think about it. I just don't like landing on land with these vessels. They're not designed for that. has disengaged. Do, do, do. Oh, now we can just let it come back. Yeah, I was 
trying to aim for like over here to bring it in nice and early, but I... I don't know, there's always a risk I'm gonna hit the atmosphere too fast. I don't know, I don't wanna... Don't wanna hit the atmosphere too fast and not be able to slow down. That would be bad. So, we are, we, we're gonna survive re-entry right now, but I have a feeling, actually, we're gonna hit one of the, uh, gonna hit the, uh, freaking mountains there. I'm, I'm actually really scared of those mountains. Maybe I should have extended past the mountains and aim for there. Oh well. We can all easily EVA now, so it's not like it's the end of the world if I did balls this up. It's difficult coming back, re-entering from uh, the Mun. I never can hit the KSC. I need to learn how to. I thought I thought I was on a good tra uh, trajectory that time. Actually, I thought I thought I'd be able to do it, but no, yeah, apparently not. Apparently not. I was not. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this this time, wasn't I? I'm gonna do it all from here, but I was I was too ah uh, yeah, <laughs> I was too worried about um, these mountains, and I am still worried about the mountains. So I kind of want to keep an eye on it so that I can EVA and escape. Oh no no no, I, I did it just right. It looks like I did it just right. I think we're gonna hit here. I think we're gonna hit here. I think we're good. Oh, that's fantastic, actually. Because I know the last re-entry I really didn't do very well. Okay, so never mind. I actually did. I that that was exactly how I was supposed to do it. Should be confident in my own ability, right? Like that's that's how that's how I should that's how I should be. That's not how I am. Yeah, I do think the drogues pop a little bit too early. I think the reason why I've got the drogues popping earlier in the level parts of the atmosphere is because I know that they have a huge effect on slowing the craft down, so... Um... Yeah, why not? You chill, the point. Needed to 
cut those those drogues anyway. Actually, our velocity is increasing. <laughs> but it's okay. We got we got we got our four shoots. Clear sighting on all four shoots. I was watching um, someone do Kerbal launches uh, the other day, and they they did they they did a really cool way of like separating a parachute after they've used it with like just separatrons. I've never thought of doing that before. It, it looked really cool because the parachute would actually fly off the craft like like it normally would, like drogue shoots and stuff, like like drogue shoots actually normally would. Right, stand by for splashdown. Yep. Yep. Got a pig pigman there. Yep. Where's my uh where's my mission log? I gotta do success. Splashdown, let's listen in for it. Oh, we're still a way away. Uh year one, day eighty two. Zero two. Do 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 do. Nearly there. Zero two oh nine by the looks of it. Sploosh. Easy recover vessel. Oh hello game. Work. Please? Come on now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. There we go. It died. It hasn't died. I can hear the birds. Um, zero, zero 09, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, it was zero 09. Oh, and, and we also got signs for that. Return of vessel return from wait recover a vessel return from the orbit of Minmus. We got science for that, but we've already done that though, haven't we? Did I not recover the vessel? I hope I did. Uh, yeah, so I apparently got paid with that twice. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, contract complete. We have that. We have that. I've got 1.8 million now, and I haven't even started the game. <laughs> That's gonna go down fairly quickly, anyway. Do 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 do. Oh look, there's tourists and all sorts of tourists, VIPs, all sorts of bollocks I don't need. Attach a new part to a satellite in orbit. All sorts of rubbish I don't need. Oh god, no, yawn. Don't don't do that. So I did say I was going to do a little station design today, a small station. Um which will be the like the first like the final piece of setup to do uh on this save. But uh I'm too tired and it took me longer to do those two missions than I thought it would. Um, the reason why it took us so long was because the first hour and a half I was fixing the craft file. So that doesn't help. And I think we've been chatty quite a bit through those launches. So that that fairly... That, that fairly... Oh, I didn't fill all this in. Because I'm going at such a speed, I'm not filling things in correctly on... Green. One eighty-two. Uh, it's not. It's year one eighty-two. Yes. Uh, so it should be ninety-seven now, right? Oh, 
flyby of the man on PLX-03. Something else I wanted to do. Okay, so we copy that, paste that, paste that, paste that. Uh, then we copy this and paste that there. Paste it there, paste it there. Of. Oh, wait, no, yeah. Flyby of. Paste that there, paste that there, paste that there. That's now all filled down. Excellent. Um, so, I'm tempted to fill in what we, like, our planning here. Like, let's plan these missions out. We know that these four Kerbals that we've just... Well, actually, there's, there'll only be three of those four Kerbals. We'll be going up to the Curie Station, which will be the station that we're going to design next stream. Um... So let's plan that out now, because I know that that's going to be a thing. So that's going to be, um, STSS-01 Curie Station Expedition 1. copy that. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I want to plan that. Uh, mission start date will be no earlier than whenever I put it in here. Um, day 120. Are you serious? Okay, well, that's fine. 120. Um, and the completion date will be no earlier than Year one, day. What were we gonna do for rotation periods? Uh, for the sti for, oh, state. How many how many Kerbal days are there in a year? Should be three twenty, I think, because there's four hundred Kerbal days in a Kerbal year. Four hundred and twenty-six days. So let's say three hundred and thirty then. No earlier than day year one day. Actually, let's say three hundred. So that's expedition expedition one. Actually, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm gonna put the three hundred and thirty. I like. Uh, what did I do? Okay, that's no, fine. Why is the amount of days in a year even different? It's the the speed that Kerbin rotates around its sun. So it takes 426 days to complete one orbit of Kerbal, the sun, in Kerbin. Um that's that that that's a year for us, so it's how many how long it takes us to get from the point that we're on now to the next to be in this exact same spot relative to the sun. Uh, that's a year. So Mars has a different uh, a different amount of days in a year. So a, a Martian year is 687 days. So a Martian year is 687 days. And Venus, for instance, is shorter the now is 225 days. Does that make sense? But because we're playing Kerbal Space Program Kerbal, a Kerbal year takes 420 days. So I'm halving that in half. So it, so an expedition usually lasts about 210 days. I think that's fine. Because IRL expeditions on the ISS last about six months. So that's, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, a test booster on the pad. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
BN2.1 Tank rolled out to- I knew- I knew they hadn't scrapped BN2! Someone was telling me the other day that they were scrapping BN2 and BN2 was going to be the orbital version or something like that, I don't know. It's rubbish. Um... Okay, so that's Curie Station Expedition 1. That's going to be planned. Allison was going... And... Thompson? I want to say Thompson. We'll put Thompson on there. And then Jedman is sadly the odd one out. He will not get to fly on that. And then everyone else is going up on the Duna Station, um, apart from Jedman. So Jedman is the odd one out. He's not going to be assigned to a launch for a while. Uh, unfortunately. So basically what I'm seeing here is that we absolutely are in vital need of um, the next astronaut group to start their training um, latest uh, year one, day one, uh, day 190, because if it takes a hundred days and then you've got rest and recovery period as well, uh, we need we need the next astronaut group to be able to replace these these Kerbals. So actually, yeah. So I need I need to get work on that. Actually, I we need to we need to work on getting the next the the next astronaut group going. So maybe that's the next setup that we can do. Along with Curie Station, we can get the, uh, once we do the launch for Curie Station, we can start getting the Kerbal, uh, the next astronaut group sorted. We can, we can get them all ready. How does that sound, chat? That sounds like a good idea. There's a few things I need to set up for the astronaut group idea that I had. I want a small building that I can keep those select Kerbals in. Uh, near the astronaut complex. Uh, in the in that building, there will be a science module, so the scientists can do their work. There'll be, and then I guess an engineering module um, with like a truck or something. The problem is with the truck. I'm not gonna be able to do the truck until I have the parts. I suppose I do have the parts. I've got. I've got. I should have enough to build a truck. Won't be a very good truck. But Elon's calling BN3 BN2, so it's really confusing. Yep, sounds about right. No point in it being simple. Um, otherwise, everyone would know what you're doing. Um, okay. So that will be the last of the launches until we uh, launch the short-term space station, which will be Curie Station. So that needs to go up on day 115. They're going to test it to destruction, you think? Maybe. Probably. Anyway. I... Oh, something else I need to do. Oh, there's just so much stuff. Um, something else I need to do is f complete this as well. This is something that I just haven't... I haven't filled out. I haven't filled out! <sighs> We're done, though. We're done. 